college student was living alone in an apartment. He lived in just a regular sort of room, but sometimes strange things happened in it. When he returned from the college, he would often feel that some stuff in his room, such as the shape of the curtains, or the position of the rubbish bin, were slightly different from how they were in the morning. Not only that, but he also felt someone was following him whenever he was outside. He was beginning to feel a little creeped out and turned to his college friend for advice. He said to his friend, Could it be a stalker? Maybe the best action to take is to report to the police, but I've heard the police won't help unless actual harm has been done. What should I do? Do you have any good ideas? The friend replied, Why don't we film your room with a video camera while you're out? If the stalker showed up, then you would have the video to present to the police as evidence. The person would be trespassing, so the police would be sure to take action. The college student thought that was a very good idea, and he was glad to have such a wise friend. Next day, he set up a video camera in his room, pressed the record button, and went to college. When he came back home, he felt something was different in the room again. He hadn't felt like this for a while. This is good. Might have really captured the stalker on video. He stopped the recording and pressed the play button. For a long time, nothing happened in the video. But in the evening, an unknown woman entered the room with a knife in her hand. Oh! He gasped and soon called his friend. Can't believe it. There really is a stalker. She came into my room today. He talked into the phone excitedly. Then he went on to make a commentary on the video with his friend as he watched it. She's rummaging through the bin. How she's smelling my clothes. So gross. Just imagining that she had done these things countless times before made him go cold all over. This sure will make the police more responsive. He felt a great relief as the woman went into a closet. Oh no, she's gotten inside the closet and she won't come out. He was saying this to his friend, just as someone else entered the room. What he saw stopped his breath. The person who entered the room was a college student himself. He watched as he in the video walked up to the camera and pressed the button to stop recording. That was the end of the video. Another great read from Saiga and Underworld, and this story perfectly captures what's actually truly scary to me, and that's stalkers. Rather than the paranormal ghosts, goblins, fantasy creatures, I think people are the most frightening creatures on this earth. This story perfectly captures the um, uneasiness of the protagonist. You can tell that he felt as if something was different in his safe space and i'm sure we've all had that feeling before in our own homes and what really nails this story is the fact that that stalker is indeed still in the closet at the time of reading this story so we don't know what happened to the protagonist i guess that's up to our imagination but i hope he uh ends up all right i did read somewhere that police don't usually take action in stalking cases until actual harm has taken place and I think that is a terrible terrible thing and I forget what the reason is for that but I do remember there were several cases of stalkers in Japan mainly that uh, have gotten away with doing actual real harm to whoever they were stalking and then were retroactively reprimanded for their actions and I think that law enforcement really does need to take these stalker cases more seriously and put in preventative measures of some sort to help protect the potential victims because that's what they are, they are victims. Uh, whether it's uh, suspected or not, it's better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. But we're getting off track. Uh, this story I think is very well written, it's a good length, uh, it really puts us in the shoes of the protagonist really well. Uh, the way he dealt with the situation was quite realistic. I mean, if I suspected something was going on in my home, I would indeed install security systems of some sort because I would just want to collect evidence and um, if, God forbid, the worst came true, 
I would bring that directly to the police and have them deal with it. And especially in the video footage, he saw that she was holding a knife when she entered his apartment. I would get the hell out of there as soon as I saw that. And uh, yeah, just report it to the police and uh, hopefully things will get dealt with uh, appropriately. Out of 10, I would give this story an eight because the pacing was quite good. However, I wish it were maybe a little bit longer with a little bit more details. I felt like we jumped to the conclusion really quickly. Although it is a really, really, really good quick read and I highly recommend you guys check out the story in the description and uh, just go there and leave a really, really nice comment for Saya as uh, many of her other readers have. If you guys do visit Saya in Underworld's blogspot website that I will link in the description, uh, viewer discretion is advised because some of the stories are a little bit graphic and um, I recommend visiting the site if you're a little bit squeamish when, when it comes to gore or blood or anything like that because uh, some of the thumbnails are also a little bit uh, a little bit much <laughs> for lack of a better word but anyways guys if you like this content make sure you guys like the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you guys in the next creepy readings take care now bye